Hello, Leo. How are you guys doing? This reading is for you. Leo, Leo. Leo, okay. I just want to clear the energy really quick. Let's see, Leo, what's happening for you here? I feel like a settled energy. Like when you go travel somewhere and you get there and you like settle in. You know, so I feel like for a lot of you, this is coming, this feeling of being settled in. There's like something new that you may be settling in in your mind, a new idea to do something different. And you're not all the way. Settled into the idea or it's like you have the idea, but now it's like, OK, but how are you going to do it? How are you going to create this for yourself? You have judgment and the death came out. So there's something here, you know. I really feel like there is a person who's trying to get out of something. So this is an energy of someone who's trying to get out of something. Like an energy of a person who did something, is guilty of doing something, and is trying to get out of it. And is trying to keep you from moving on with this judgment card here. And this could be friends. This could be um, family members. This could be like work. It could be past people that you've been with. But there is something here where someone is trying to get out of something. And it's like, you know, you have the king here on the death card who's trying to cheat death. Trying to say, hey, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm a king, so. And it's like, no, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who you are. You're not a king. You're not a king anymore. You know, you know, when death comes, doesn't matter. We're all the same, you know, in that. And this is like kind of saying like there's anything, anyone can achieve anything. Anyone can lose anything. Anyone, anything can do, anyone can do anything is like kind of what this card is saying. Like reminds us the, the humanity that we're all equal. And there is someone in your life that saw themselves as above, above other people. They're always putting other people down, be putting you down. And it's just not, it's not the way that you want to be anymore. It's not the energy that you want to like, spend yourself anymore you know there's the white rose on this flag symbolizing the sweetness of life like in the moment appreciate the sweetness of life because you never know when it's all going to be gone that's what this is like saying you know and there is there is something here that's changing and for a lot of you, you're saying, um, I want better for my life. I know what it is that I deserve now. I know what it is that I don't deserve now. And I'm going to I'm gonna believe in myself. I'm going to bet on myself that I can do this. And I'm going to go for it. And that's what it is that you're doing. Yeah, the world card and then this uh, ace of wands. You're saying, okay, I'm going to say no to this. And I'm going to go for something else. And everyone else is trying to tell you, well, you don't know how that's going to go, though. Like, is that going to work? People are trying to talk you out of something. There's people, there's situations where it's like you could stay in the same energy. But it's like you have to end something before something new can come in is kind of the energy. It's kind of like this energy of cleaning out what it is that you have that you no longer need, that you no longer use, so new can come in. It's kind of like this energy of breaking up with a person who treats you like garbage, you know, um, and taking this new opportunity to heal yourself and to allow the right person to enter into your life that sees your value. You have to choose to value yourself first. It's like this energy of, you know, people that are in a relationship and they're looking for their next move 
or people who are in a relationship and then they go to the very next thing from that relationship. They jump right into another one. It's like, that's not good. And I feel like for some of you, there's been a lot of people around you that have done that and you didn't do that. Maybe you used to do that in the past. You're now ending those kinds of patterns in your life. You're coming to some realizations. It's been a long time coming. And now you're saying, no, I want more. And I believe that I'm going to get it. I believe that I can do it here. Um, and th that's what it is that you're doing here. Yeah, this is this is what it is. You have the Seven of Pentacles and then you have the Ace of Swords. It's like, you know, no, I'm not going to continue to do the same thing. That's not bringing me any. This is assessing energy. You're going to continue into this energy of assessing everything, every area of your life, every aspect of your life, every decision that you make, uh, how you spend your energy, who you share your energy with. Everything is changing, changing, changing. Spirit angels are looking out for you. They're communicating to you, communicating to you, communicating to you. This candle. I don't think you guys can hear it. Now it's stopping. Every time I talk about it, it will stop. It makes this like wind noise. Whenever that is happening, this is to me, this is spirit sending you a message. This is spirit telling you that they have your back. This is spirit letting you know that anyone that is trying to harm your energy, that is trying to get in your way, something big that you're trying to do, Spirit is telling you to do it. Spirit is on your side guiding you. Look, you have the Ace of Cups here. There's something big coming in for you. Okay, well, let's... New love is coming in for you. It's like anyone that tries to wrong you at this time, people that are trying to undermine you, um, betray you, you know, cheat you out of something, come back in and mess up what it is that you have, their spirit's taking care of that. That's this karma being taken care of for you. Like that's kind of what that's saying here. It's like, yeah, you're protected. And spirit is going to, you know, let you know what's up here. With people, you're going to just... You're going to be able to see them and you're going to be able to know what's happening with these people and who it is that you can rely on, who it is that you cannot rely on. This is going to be revealed to you and it may be revealed to you slowly. It's not necessarily going to happen all at once, but th there's like reasons for that because there is going to be, you're going to see the progression that you're making with things that are happening, revelations that are happening, all this kind of stuff. It's like a very interesting time right now for blessings to be coming into your life. Freaking wow. Okay. Yeah, there's opportunity for immense blessings in your life. You have justice here, okay? You have the King of Swords, the Moon, and the Page of Pentacles. There's something here that you see. There's someone that you see for them for what they really are. You have a lot of clarity coming in. And there is a person that has, there's a person that's trying to act like a tame dog, but they're a wild dog. That's like the energy that I'm getting. It's like this person is trying to act all, you know, that they're like this and they're like that. And they're this kind of a person, but they're not. They're not like that. And this could be a friend. This could be anything. There is a person that is clinging to your energy. And with this King of Swords, it's like there is something here that you want to learn. There is something here that you're curious about, that you care about. And you want to spend your time, more of your time, learning about something that is a mystery, something that strikes your curiosity, something that, um, you know, you feel a call within you, like the wild dog. But, and you're going to use all the knowledge you have gained, like the tame dog. There is a balance here that you're going to achieve and to go towards. It seems like a small opportunity. It seems like a small idea that spirit, you know, is giving you, but it's not. It's one that's going to turn into something really, really big. Spirit wants you to be aware of any people at this time that are trying to trick you. You know, it's like you don't need to rush into anything and you don't need to be doing anything that you don't want to be doing. And if something is not adding value to your life, then why are you doing it? Why are you allowing this person around your energy? It's like somebody wants 
to make you feel sorry for them. Like a puppy dog with the big eyes, but they're really, when you turn away, they're like stealing from you behind your back. They ha they're, they're acting like a wild animal, but they know how to put on the face. could be a Pisces person, a Cancer person, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, let's see. You know, you have the Nine of Pentacles with the Three of Wands and then the Ten of Swords. So this is an interesting energy here because you're deciding enough is enough. And you're it's like it's time to say, look at how far you have come. Not all of the things that have gone wrong. It's like you're seeing something the wrong way. You're seeing something as all of the failures that you have made. And look at, I could be here and I'm not there. Look at this situation that went wrong. Look at this relationship that didn't work out, you know? And spirit wants you instead to realize that you have an opportunity right now. You're doing something right now. There is a change in your attitude, in your presence, in something that you're going towards. And don't compare yourself to people that are more successful than you by your terms because you don't know when they started their journey. You don't know where they started from. Even if you know their entire life story, you still don't, you know, and you're just like there is a way where you're measuring yourself to other people and feeling discouraged. And spirit is like something that you're doing is really amazing. And with this hawk here, it's kind of saying like there is no limits to what it is that you can do. And you have everything that you need to learn. You know, she has this glove here. She has the hawk. She is able to like learn how to train this hawk. She has learned how to train the hawk. And now she that's something that she can do. And she can learn more and more and more and more about it. And the hawk brings her messages from the divine. And this is interesting because a hawk is a wild animal that has been tamed, you know, but still is able to be free and allowed to fly, you know, or at least hopefully, right? I know some people clip their wings, but it's like, and then all the grapes behind her, it's like, you know, she can, uh, there's a lot that she can do here. She understands how to cultivate these grapes and how to be successful to get to this certain point and that doesn't mean that she's just going to stay here you know she's going to reach for more and she's going to continue to build and grow upon what it is that she has and this is something that you're doing but you're not giving yourself the credit so then you feel down about it and so then you're not doing things with that same energy and so it feels like nothing is changing um, and you're worried that you're not going to be able to stay here, that you're never going to reach this point of success. And it's kind of like tired of feeling like you always fall up short. Um, but that's spirit wants you to know that that's not what's happening. And it, spirit's not just telling you to see it this way. So you'll be happy right here and you'll stay right here. Spirit is saying no. You seeing how far you have come, you seeing how there is no limit to what it is that you can do, you like feeling the power of what it is that you have created, right? Feeling this proud, you know, being in this energy of I am successful and I'm continuing to grow and make more and more success every day. You know, you being in that energy is what gets you to this. And that's what it is that you're doing here. Um... I feel like when you have a little slip up, you're very harsh on yourself about it. And spirit wants you to like, stop doing that. So you have the eight of pentacles here and you have the three of cups with the two of cups. You're focusing away over here. You're really focusing away over here. There is a childhood dream. There is memories from your childhood. There is things that you now realize that happened to you when you were younger. There's things that you understand and you're using that to focus on what it is that you're doing. And it may, it's like driving you. It could be children that you're taking care of or driving you, like uh, you, as in motivating you, your inspiration, you know. Uh, one day you want to have a family, so you want things, you know, you want to set the stage for that in a really awesome way. Um, you want to inspire other people around this world, people younger than you, people that have gone through what you have gone through, people that are from the same town that you're from or have the same heritage as you. And 
it's like you want to make things better for the other beings of the planet here and it's kind of like that's your main focus at this time more and more you're moving away from stopping and halting your main focus to go do things for other people um be there for other people give your energy away to other people and this is why you're creating more success and this is why a balanced relationship is coming in this is why something that you're trying to achieve here you're going to get the necessarily help that you need and you're going to be able to do this here and for a lot of you this has to do with So let's see one clarify. You have the emperor, you have the four of pentacles, and then you have the five of wands. So there's a lot of success here. There's love coming in, right? And then, I don't know, I'm a little bit scared. I don't want to lose anything. I don't want to mess anything up. And your mind kind of goes back into all of this mode again here. The mode of worry, the, the mode of... Should you trust a particular situation? There's like this energy of that. Um, this could also be having this business success. And it's like you want to try to navigate more. It's like this energy of you don't stop and appreciate what it is that you have just created. What it is that you have just done? It's like before you even achieve a goal, you already have the next three goals that you want to achieve. And so by the time you reach that one goal, it's not even a celebration. You're just reaching for the other three. And then you made another a fourth goal that you keep going towards. So it's like you need to take the time to celebrate and appreciate where it is that you're at and realize that, you know, you're learning when this is also talking about learning when to hold back, learning when to protect your heart. And when to, you know, just go for things because the emperor just goes for it, you know. So it's like having this balance. Maybe in the past you had a lot of relationships where when you were in a relationship, you gave 100% to the relationship. You gave 100% to your work and you didn't keep things in balance. You didn't keep your self-care in balance. You didn't keep up with your you know, friends, you didn't continue to have friendships. You like let areas of your life not stay in balance. So this is trying to learn how to do this uh, appropriate balance. For some of you who have significant like financial changes are coming in that you're learning how to acclimate. This is like a person here who it's like has always had less money and always always had a lot of worries. And then now, you know, having money and having success and having this res more responsibility, but in a way that you're able to relax and it's less work, more responsibility. Like the percentage of work that you do has gone down, but the percentage of money that you have made has gone up. That's like what this reading is saying. Is basically that's what you have changed, you know. Um, and you're learning to navigate that. Okay, let's see. Let's see King of Swords, right? Could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. <laughs> King of Swords is clarified by the King of Swords. I mean, come on. Someone coming in that <laughs> appreciates your success. Look at this. You have the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Okay? Twice. So this could be um, an area where you're getting a lot of clarity on your success, on projects that you're working towards, on your own independence, on you being able to do things on your own, on you being self-sufficient. On the Nine of Pentacles, it's so interesting. I never noticed on this card, but on this one, there's a snail. That little dot is a snail. And on this one, it it's covers it. The framing of the card covers it. So there is something here where you're going to be able to change where it is that you live. And it's not the same that it has always been. You know, and the snail has their house on the back, right? So it's like maybe you have moved around here, you moved here, you moved here, you moved here, you moved here. And it's like maybe you're finally now going to get your 
forever home. You're going to get to buy a home and this is a home that you're going to stay in for a significant amount of time. There is something here that's changing um, regarding your living situation, regarding your own independence and your financial stability here. You're going to get a lot of clarity on how to act and how to make things happen. Some of you have been very emotional when it comes to finances and stability and all of this and you're thinking about things all of the time you're learning to like balance that out and understand things that you don't understand some of you there's like things you don't understand like learning to invest or you're learning how different businesses do this or doing that and things that you can do different practices that you can take it's like there's certain practice there's certain practices that very successful people have you know, they wake up really early every morning. They, you know, do this, they do that. I don't know what they do, <laughs> but they do it. And it's like, you're learning about something like that. It's creating a lot of change here for you. Um, this is something that, you know, there is an opportunity coming to you and it could be a person that brings an opportunity to you as well. That could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or just a person that is uh, very wise, very established, and they um, have clear communication. They could be very powerful as well. They're, you know, a very successful person here um, that is presenting you with an opportunity. This could be an opportunity that is changing. You're seeing something change within a people. A lot of you don't even realize how powerful your own energy is, and Spirit is about to show you because people how people treat you, the same people is going to change. They're not going to be treating you the same anymore because it's like you decided to set boundaries here and you decided to not accept less than those boundaries. And you're not going to give your time and energy to anything that isn't productive for you as well. There are a lot of people here on this planet. We all have different things that we, you know, that's our calling here to do. It's like a rainforest. They're showing me in all the different animals of the rainforest. And you don't see a jaguar trying to fly like a parrot in the rainforest, do you? No. Okay. And it's like, well, maybe there's a parrot that's in trouble and needs some help. Well, guess what? The jaguar can't help him because he's a jaguar. So the jaguar has to do jaguar things. And the parrot needs to learn to help themselves. You know, there are other parrots around that can go and help this parrot. <laughs> they can easily fly over, you know. So this is this is the energy that is coming into. You're starting to realize the call within you and the right that you have to use your energy for your life, for your benefit. Yeah. Okay. You have the page of wands. There is something unknown here. So I'm clarifying the moon now. So there is an unknown journey. There is mystery here. You don't know. You don't know what's going to be out here. This is opportunity. There is something here. Yeah. Like, look at this. Look at this. There is something here that you've been working really hard on. Okay. <laughs> There's a past person that told you you couldn't do something and now you're doing it. This is giving me the energy of somebody who's like, Someone told you you can't sing, that you're a horrible singer and you just like go to an open mic night anyways and, you know, you meet somebody and this takes off and this is a whole new adventure. You don't know what's going to happen with this. You know, you've never done something like this before. Um, and, and, you know, you excel in this. So it's like, yeah, you're going to and then you're just going to move to, you know, I don't know, wherever you need to move to, to do what, you know, this, explore this new successful, um, cause it's like, see how it's handing the ace of, of wands and then he's holding the ace of wands here. And this is like, it's a mystery out there, but you're seeing the mystery, the beauty in the mystery, you know, and you're trusting in yourself that you can handle it. Whatever comes up, you can handle it. You know, and this is a dream that you have. So you wanting to go for it is a healthy thing. So, okay, let's see Page of Pentacles. That's the thing here is with the Page of Wands, you know, he has the red feather. 
And this is indicating in his hat, this is indicating that he has made some sort of accolade. He has like gotten like, it's like getting your black belt in karate or something. You know, you reached a level and you got something for it. Now you're not going to wear a purple belt. You're going to wear a black belt. Everyone's going to know what that means when they see you. And now you're not going to be in class with the purple belts anymore. Get out of here, purple belts. You're going to the black belt class. And, you know, now you're going to try to be a, I don't know, whatever is next after that. There's always something, right? And so that's what this is, is you're going to the next level here. So, yeah, you have this two of swords. There's something here where you think, you think that there's a difficult decision to make. You think that you're trapped. You think that you're not sure which way to go. Well, you have the four of wands and you have the ten of cups. <laughs> it's like, no, you, you're, you're in the right place. You're doing the right things. And spirit is going to show you things the way that you need to show it. You're ready to hurry up and have it happen already. The spirit's like, well, there's this thing called divine timing. So... We got to kind of wait for that. Okay, I want to see this Page of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Wishy-washy energy. If you have a person that's coming back and leaving and coming back and leaving, and then after you're around them, you're like, I don't, you know, I don't know about this. You don't feel good about this person. You don't feel good about their energy, even when you're with them. It's just like, what are they even saying? There is something here about juggling back and forth. Uh, people that are not, it's not fulfilling to be around them anymore. It's just not. And there's going to come a point where enough is enough. And uh, it's only the beginning. It's kind of like you're shedding a lot because you have a lot of blessings that are due. Coming in. Look at this three of pentacles here. Uh, there is a really successful opportunity here. Look at the nine of pentacles to the three of pentacles. That's a lot of success. That's what that is. That is a collaboration that goes to the next level here and is very victorious. And then you have the two of cups, of course. <laughs> it's like there are blessings here for you. There are a lot of blessings here for you. I feel like there is just something here that you're going to do that other people are not going to believe what it is that you're doing yet. It's a past people energy, past people seeing. It's like people are going to hear, people are going to see about this success. And you would have carried this person along with you during to join in your success. And spirit is like, no, because then you wouldn't have been able to have this success because you'd be exhausted from carrying somebody else. And guess what? They never would have picked up their own weight. You would have just been carrying them forever. And it's like, no, you can have someone. Look at this. I'm not freaking kidding. You can have someone that can carry their own weight and can celebrate your successes and not make all of your moments their moment. Okay, let's let's see the Eight of Pentacles. Justice, Queen of Swords, Page of Cups. You can take opportunities as they come. It's kind of like some things that you're doing are very creative, perhaps. And so there is a time when this creative energy flows. And this is when you're going to do this. And there's a time when this energy doesn't. And it makes more sense to do this instead. So it's like having this flexible schedule. That's what I'm getting with this uh, page of cups. Because of the fish in the cup is kind of flexible. Um, and so it's like, you know, not being too strict with yourself. It's like you're going, it's going to balance out. It's going to flow out naturally. So you don't need to worry about doing that. Um, it's also some sort of a resolution that is coming about, which is something that has been bothering you. There is something unsettled and it is financial. It is something that you need to like 
organize or dictate how it's going to go, decide what's going to happen with something. And it kind of feels like you have felt like this energy is holding you back. And I feel like it, it's taking the time to resolve because you have stressed feelings about it. So if you focus on something else and allow the universe to handle this, then the universe will. Is kind of like what the Justice card is saying here. Yeah, and that's the overall energy of the reading here is this Justice card. So, and it's like very funny because you have the Seven of Wands in reverse behind it. So it's like, yeah, stop trying to, if something is not working, the Seven of Wands is energy of like, you keep fighting something, you won't give it up. And this is like the fly that is trying to fly out a window. And they keep hitting the glass. And to the fly, it looks like, hey, that's this is freedom. Like <laughs> this is where I'm supposed to go. So <laughs> it's not working, but they keep doing it. And spirit's like, chill. You know, this is you coming with a cup and you're trying to collect the fly. And the fly thinks this is a problem. Things are getting worse now. Something is trying to kill me. Not only am I like trapped and I can't figure out how I'm trapped, but now something is coming after me. And Spirit's like, you know, just surrender, just surrender, just surrender. And this is you finally surrender. And the way that you surrender is you put your energy towards something else, towards something that is working with this Eight of Pentacles. Uh, passion that is seeing some uh, positive results. Something that you can do that makes you feel good and joy while you're doing it. Um, have you ever worked on something and you care a lot about it and you're curious and so you're learning this and then you're learning this and you try and you try and you get it and you're like so excited and you can't wait to do it again. That's the kind of energy that spirit wants you to shift to. So if what you're focusing on doesn't make you feel like that, um, stop thinking about it. <laughs> That's the energy. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is how you're reaching this success is just more scenarios of that is going to keep coming, keep coming until you're going to keep leveling up, keep leveling up, keep. Are you freaking kidding me? And the thing is, is you walking away, there's a turning point now. You balance the scales and now there is a turning point to um, your rock bottom is not going to be rock bottom what it used to be your rock bottom now is just you doing really well <laughs> you know what I mean like that's the energy that we're going we're we're, cut, we're headed into here I want to say two of cups what's this two of cups about person and you are not there's no communication you may think that there is nobody here there is nobody here for you and there is nothing happening uh, but there's somebody here <laughs> there is someone that has feelings for you there is someone that is planning a move and you think this is done they forgot about you they you know don't want this connection they don't care about this connection it's not going to work out and um, actually, they're just thinking about how they're going to make a move, you know, and really it's this energy of someone. It, this could also just be you kind of thinking like, well, I guess there's no one for me. You know, I guess I'm going to be, you know, spending the rest of my life alone. It's like a little bit of this energy of oh, oh I just I'm going to have to just accept it. And that's when it comes in. Right. Look at this four of wands. That's when something is happening here. Because you pulled your energy uh, into yourself again. And when you pull your energy back into yourself again and you have healthy boundaries set and you're living your life, doing things for you, feeling fulfilled on your own, that's how you achieve success. That's how you attract the kind of person that we're all really wanting to attract someone that really sees us someone here for the right reasons someone that we can build a life with right and that's you know that's where you're going that's what you're doing so what's this emperor about let's clarify the emperor
Hanged Man, King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. You know, um, <clears throat> there is a person that, there is, there is more to a person than what you think. Maybe you think someone is just the King of Pentacles, but actually they're an emperor here. You know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, there is something here about a person, and this Hangman card is giving me, maybe a person has another side to them that you don't know. Maybe a person has more of an intellectual side than you know. Maybe they have more of a spiritual side than what it is that you know. Like you kind of think of a person in one way, but there is more to this person here. And um, you have this uh, Knight of Pentacles. So there is someone here that wants to come towards you. Maybe they wanted to be better before they came towards you. You know, maybe they had some things that they wanted to get in order. Maybe they wanted, you know, they have a certain picture in their mind of how they're going to come towards you, how they're going to approach you, how they're going to court you. And so they wanted to be able to do that because in the past, they're recognizing the place that they were at in their life and how they entered something and then what happened as a result. And with you, they don't want that to happen. So I feel like you're feeling like, well, um, you should have like jumped on this chance to be with me. And, you know, um, I'm a Leo, so I shouldn't have had all this time that I'm by myself. You know, it's like, okay, this should be happening for me. And it's kind of like saying, I don't want to say good things come to those who wait. Yeah, it's like good things come to those who wait. And like they want to wait because they want it to be good. Because they want to come with the correct energy. And that's boundaries that you're now setting. Because you are now setting that, you know, people can't, I can't just accept any person that comes towards me. I need to realize, I need to value myself. And I need to take some time to get to know these people. And I need to think about, is this a good option for me? And not just instantly give, instantly love, in instantly accept every person that is before me. You know, it's like this giver, giver, giver. And you, you know, you need to give to someone who's the right person for you. You need to think of yourself as well. And that's kind of, look at this. Are you kidding me? I just... Someone who's going to give back to you as well. They have these two cups, equal give and take. And this is a person that you're not expecting. That's what I'm saying. It's like there is something unexpected about this person with the hanged man. There is a pause and then you're thinking about something in a different way here. And that can be, there may not, I don't necessarily getting that there is a pause, but it's just like you kind of think one way and then you think more uh, about it. And, um... I feel like this person is going to surprise you. That's what it feels like, which is kind of refreshing because I feel like you are very intuitive and you have known what's coming for a long time. And isn't it always nice when you get a surprise, right? I feel like it's a good surprise. You have this three of pentacles too. So uh, three of pentacles, it's a three of cups, sorry. There's going to be a celebration about the two of you coming together. You may know each other through friends somehow, or you may make a new friend group with this person. This is going to be lead to a lot of excitement for you, a lead to a lot of fulfillment for you, because the it's almost like you're getting these things for the first time ever in your life, because before it wasn't genuine, because it was people that were not reciprocating it. They were not reciprocating the friendship. They were not reciprocating the love connection. And now you are in these equal give and take situations here. And there is some kind of passion that it's like you're manifesting this beautiful opportunity before you. That it's like it means a lot to you to do this. And there is a lot of strength for you to put yourself out there in a particular way and you're taking the leap of faith you're doing it because you want this cup of love and it's like yeah well I could have my heart broken again you're right I could but I could also meet the love of my life so like I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna believe you know um you have the five of wands and then you have the four of pentacles down here so I want to clarify about this because we want to know about this. 
Okay, well, you have the world flew out. It's like, I don't know, 15 cards, so I'm not going to look through it. But it's definitely an end to a lot of crap. <laughs> all those cards behind it a lot of bs it's like it, and it's not maybe necessarily an abrupt ending but it's slowly but surely gonna get look at this four of pentacles better and better and better as far as holding back in the beginning so you can see what kind of a situation this is yeah you have the nine of pentacles so it's like oh nine of pentacles nine of cups sorry um so it's like your day-to-day -day life. Yeah, you, there is holding back a little bit. You're holding back and you're in alignment because, you know, you're healing from things that happened in the past. You're understanding your emotions in a different way. You're thinking about things in a different way. You're going to be a different person now. And because of these changes that you have put in place, look at this. You have the tower and the wheel of fortune. There's this with the star. Are you freaking kidding me? Ace of cups. Wow. And king of wands. I could just keep going. Wow. Oh, it's like, oh, okay. You thought maybe you were destined for like nothing. Maybe you were destined to be just like this background character. Nope. That is going to become clear to you. It's going to become very clear for you to you. When is the next time, oh, Aquarius, we're in Aquarius season right now. I was going to say, when is the next time we have a fixed sign, especially I feel like during the fixed sign months of these years, of this year. So Aquarius, very important month. Taurus, very important time. Leo season, Scorpio season. Big changes are going to happen for you during those, those uh, four seasons of this year. So... People with their drama escape. You're escaping the drama. You're no longer doing it. You're no longer entertaining people's drama. And so now there is opportunity for peace. There's opportunity for fortune. You have Leo. You have um, Pisces and Leo again. Okay. You have health. So pay attention to your health. There are some changes that maybe you have felt drawn to, to making. And Spirit wants you to do those changes to be more healthy. Um, yeah, care about your health. If something is not good for you, then you don't need to do it. It's like before maybe you just say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes to everything. And now you're kind of like questioning, is this going to be good for me or not? You have acquisition. So somebody is wanting to take you out on a date. That's here for you as well. Um, look, you have this control card. You have the innovation card. So this is a card of, you know, the world. This is a card of ending of the old ways and embracing a new way to do something. Innovation is the, like thinking of something new that hasn't been done before that's going to make something easier. So what is going to make something easier for you, you know? Uh, that could be like, how can you make something uh, healthier for you to be able to do something? Yeah, follow your enthusiasm at this time. It's not going to steer you wrong. It's not. You got Sag, you got Taurus, you have Pisces, um, Capricorn and Virgo energy here. Taurus moon here. Exaltation. You know, there's beautiful things that are coming in for you. There's a beautiful celebration that you're going to be able to have here. Um... I want to see about this person with the Two of Cups energy here. What the heck? What's that about? Wow. Ten of Cups. Blessings. Ace of Swords. The Fool. Wow. Two of Swords. Okay, this is a decision to make take a leap of faith. You have the Moon card here as well. You know, there is someone that has a lot of feelings for you and you're different than anybody else that they have known. You know, it's a different type of thing. There is something that this person has gone through and they have a huge imagination. This person has a childlike quality about them in a positive way. And 
they keep you guessing and you do the same thing for them. There is a constant um, evolving with this person, you know, you and this person. They always want to um, stay curious about things and they're very curious about life. Like there's never a dull moment with this person. They just like make the simplest things fun. When I'm getting with this owl on the card, it's like symbolizing that there is a person that has passed on that is looking over you or your angels are looking over you, your spirit guides are looking over for you and they're bringing you and this person together. They're like um, orchestrating this whole thing here. But it's like, yeah, this person is, you know, a person of honesty, integrity. You're going to feel very clear about this person too. You're going to like just feel like this is just right and it's just easy and it's just fun and it naturally builds into something. It's not something where you're like questioning where what you guys are doing or what's going on with this person or what they really want or, you know, it's like their actions and their words match. You're enjoying your time with this person and it's something that just naturally grows into something you know wonderful here um yeah wow and this is because you set up healthy boundaries that's why you set healthy boundaries and so now you get a person who you know fits fits the boundary you know but there's no boundary for them because they're a healthy person and because they are, you know, uh, caring and compassionate. Unexpected storm here, you know, I feel like that's what this uh, tower card is about. It's like unexpectedly, this is kind of coming in when you're not expecting it, when you're focusing on, you know, other things. And then you have this coming in here. This could be a Scorpio person coming in for you. It doesn't have to be. This could be a person that you met during Scorpio season or you thought something was going to happen with this person during Scorpio season. Yeah, you have thoughts and isolating. So it's like someone thinking about making a move and you don't know like this is going to happen, you know. Uh, you got higher self activation. Yeah, your spirit guides, your higher self, you're being guided here, okay. Present abundant gratitude, you have so much gratitude and this is why the abundance is pouring into your life now. Okay. You have Neptune confusion and illusions, but you see how these glasses are down. It's like, yeah, you're taking off the rose colored glasses. You see things for what they are now and things that are not adding value to your life. Okay. It's got to go look at this comfort zone. And that's what the tower represents and the storm. The comfort zone is over. You're moving out of the comfort zone and you're creating a new life for yourself that is more, you know, more than what you could ever, ever have imagined before for yourself. Okay, let's get a couple more cards. Yeah. Archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Wow. happiness. Wow. You got the rat. Someone working against you behind your back. Be careful of past people trying to come back in. Be careful of, you know, you're taking off the rose glasses. So it's like you're able to see this at this time. It's like following your intuition, you're going to be able to know. Yeah, you'll be playing a different role. It's like you have this upgrade and then it's like people want to try to come in and trick you and take things from you. But it's like, you know, you're aware of this at this time. Yeah, you have the Ace of Swords. So there's clarity, there's balance that is coming in for you that you deserve to have. Wow, so amazing. Okay, Leo, thank you so much. If this video resonated and you want to like or subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, also I have a book. It's called One Light. And it's all about the law of attraction and manifesting. So if you're interested, the information is in the description.